Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as you can see, this is obviously not Minecraft. This is actually Beamman G Drive. And um, th I will still be doing lots and lots of Minecraft. It's just I, I got this game and I thought it was really fun. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the vehicles because some of them are hard to use if you're a beginner. And I had to Google it to figure it out and watch many videos. So yeah. So, if you want to get this game, you can get it on Steam or off the internet. It costs uh, $27.99. Um, there's uh, Canadian, and there's no tax on Steam, I'm pretty sure, if you get it. Because I paid exactly $27.99. I think that's what he said. I don't know. But let's just get right into the video. So, we're going to go to Free Roam. We are going to go to... Um, grid map, and we are going to go to the one called outside, and then we're going to spawn. So it's loading. Yeah, so when you first get the game, it takes a while to load. Okay, I, I get it. It takes a while to load, and when you also get the game, you're, you'll have arrow keys, your arrow keys on your computer. Those are the default settings to how to drive your car. Wait, what is it doing? So you're going to have to switch them to ASWD if you want. Why? There we go. To ASWD if you want to have it normal. And then, yeah. And so, yeah. So I'm just going to show you the basic stuff first. So lots of people don't like driving in third person like this. How, how you see, so you can drive in first person like this, inside the car, you can drive on the engine hood, you can drive in a very weird angle, or you can drive third person like I said earlier. Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just, I'm still learning, I got the game yesterday. So, yeah, so if you, some vehicles have a circle, or a thing here, so if you press O, it opens the tailgate and you can close it and yeah pretty cool so I'm gonna be showing you lots of stuff so right now I'm going to be showing you how to um, first use a trailer then I'm going to be showing you how to freeze physics I'm going to be showing you how to use the node grabber which are these little things and a couple other things so first you want to press escape which brings up this thing. Then we're going to click on this thing called vehicles that looks like a vehicle. And we are going to need um, any trailer of, that you want. Um, well, not any trailer. You either want the small flatbed trailer or the large utility trailer. But for this, we're going to be using the large utility trailer. They both work for this, just this one's easier for a beginner. So you're just going to click on it and you're going to click spawn new. Because if you replace the current, then you won't have the truck. Okay, sometimes you can't see them. So sometimes you just got to reset it. Or sometimes you just have to go back into the thing. And click back on the trailer and replace current. And then, no, it doesn't want to show up. Sometimes they don't do this. So... We're just going to use the other trailer for now, because this game does not like me. So we'll use this trailer. Uh, replace current. See, there we go. Then you simply just press the tab button to switch vehicles. Wait, wait, let's... Yeah, okay. So yeah, so, we, so yeah, we can do that. And the mirrors don't actually work in this game, I think. Yeah, they don't... Yeah, mirrors don't work, unfortunately. It would be cool if they did, but you can simply just um, uh, right-click so you can look around. Oh, crap. Dang it. And vehicles are very sensitive, and I'm going to also... Oh, dang it. And I'm going to also be showing you some uh, car accidents, too, because this game is really realistic, and I'm as you can see, I'm still getting used to... Okay, you know what? I'm going to reset this. We're going to reset this. We're gonna find our truck. We're gonna find the. Tr oh, why is the trailer way over there? Oh yeah, and f I'm gonna be showing you how to use your indicators. So, beside the button M, right beside that, there'll be um, 
um, a button that has like a, a comma, then a line, then a comma. You click that for your right indicator. You click the period for your left indicator, and you click the slash for your all of them, your safety signal thing. And headlight or horn is H, and I don't know what headlights are actually. So you just want to back the truck up slowly to your trailer. Make sure you don't crash it. And if you want to press L and hold it, and then there. So to control this trailer to open the gate, you simply just press O. Oh wait, no, that's not for that. Yeah, that's for the tailgate. You just want to press tab, and then you can have full control over this. So you press O for that to go down. And say the truck was not connected to it, and I pressed, uh, we need to go back to the truck, and I pressed L, it would unattach. So then, you see this pole right here, where my mouse is? If you press G, it would go in, and I press G again, and then yeah. So we're actually going to keep it hooked up to the truck. And we're simply going to spawn in another car. And we're going to drive it up onto the trailer. I'm going to show you how cool it kind of is. So we're going to use a small car. So we are going to use the Autobella Piccolina. I think. Actually, no, 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 no. You know what? We'll use the Pigeon. Just because it's three wheels and probably a lot more difficult so we I think we will use the we'll use the base model and we'll make it yellow uh, so spawn new every time you're trying to do something if you press replace current then it'll replace your current vehicle and then you'll have to restart a lot so yeah whoa and this vehicle is kind of tippy so I suggest being careful and it don't make this your first car you ever drive. Oh my god. Oh, I think I have it stuck. So we're just going to reset it. Yeah, so guys, oh, reset for your vehicle is R. So you simply just put R. That's the default setting. You can simply just change them, which I will let you guys figure that out. Because I do not want to explain every single little detail of the game otherwise this could be a very long video and I don't like making super long videos because it makes it harder for me and I don't want to drive off dang it oh, dang it dang it eh well this is a perfect time to show you how the node grabber works so you simply just plus press left the left control and then you all these dots will come up so I'm going to lift the car up perfect and then eh don't go, don't fall. Eh. And parking brake, I'm pretty sure, is space. So, yeah, space turns on parking brake. And then, if if we switch to the trail, no, that's the truck. So, we switch to the trailer. We can close it. Then, we can switch to the truck. And we can just drive away with our pigeon. So, yeah, this is how this car works. And let me just show you something, because the next thing will be the flatbed. So in worst case scenario, um, you get in a car accident, or you start swerving and you get in an accident. Yeah, look how realistic that is. So my truck can still drive, but your pigeon um, looks a little flattened. So in this case, you're simply just going to go to your spawn car thing. Now I'm going to be showing you how to use the flatbed so you're gonna go into the t-series and then you're going to find the one that says t65 car hauler up fit and you're gonna click on it spawn new and hopefully it should spawn beside if not we're gonna have to find yep yeah, it spawned beside so that's perfect so you're gonna drive it forwards and then you're gonna just stop it Okay, and then so I so I'm gonna actually show you how to use the lights. So you simply just press M, and the lights will flash. And press M again to change them, and they'll stop. And this one has no sounds, so we're gonna back up. Actually, a bit more forwards. You don't want to be too close to the what you're trying to pick up, and then you're just gonna stop. And actually, we'll turn on lights. 
Okay, so then what you're wanna, gonna do is switch. Oh, this is the truck. So you're gonna wanna unhook the trailer. So this truck is actually still drivable. So we are going to drive it onto the flatbed. And then, yeah. So if we wanna, that's the trailer, that's the pigeon. Wait. <laughs> if it wasn't stuck there, it could still drive. So yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you how to use this. So, to make this thing, the ramp, go out, we are going to press control, right? And then the page down button, which is on the top of your keyboard. So, page down. Nope, page up, sorry. Do, 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 do. This could take a while. There, once it goes out, then you press page up again for it to tilt down. And then it should be flat on the ground. And if you're, the car that you're trying to pick up is immobilized, which means it can no longer move, then you'll have to back the truck up into it. But because our truck does move, we are just going to drive it up. And I think our steering's actually a little bit destroyed. Ah, oh, that didn't go on straight. Just drive up. Eh, drive up. That's not rolling down. No, we'll just put the parking brake on. And... do that. That's the destroyed pigeon. And then this is this truck. So now I'm going to show you how to bring everything up. So you're going to do the exact same thing except press page down. So page down will bring it in, all the way in, and then you're just going to simply just press page down without pressing control, and it will lower the truck, or flatbed. Then I don't know if this flatbed actually has a trailer hitch, no it doesn't, so then if you switch to the truck oh that's the wrong vehicle I was already there and if we switch this we can drive away and save the dude's life like this and then you can just drive in circles and then to save the dude you can click just go into his truck and we're gonna click on this wrench and we're gonna delete his car from existence and then we're gonna go back to this and what I'm going to show you, well actually, no, I'm going to show you other vehicles now. So we're going to delete this, delete, um, delete, wait, it still drives, that is awesome, it drives perfectly. So we're just going to go and destroy it, and then I'm going to show you how to use a bus. So, actually wait. We're going to get out of there so the bus doesn't spawn in a wall. Alright. So, bus. And then I'm going to just show you a good accident. So, I'm going to be showing you the bus and then this car next. And then, maybe next time I do Beam NG Drive, I'll show you how to use the this and the this. But, so yeah, we're just going to spawn up a bus. So, we're going to go... <sighs> no, we'll just use... A highway bus. We can use a ram bus or a hero, which the hero has boosters and uh, that can totally destroy stuff. So yeah, this is your bus. So you can so the controls for driving are normal. And I don't know why the map looks so weird. Like it's like weird. I don't know if we can fit. <coughs> oh, we just fit. Oh, that's so perfect. All right, so we're just actually gonna, I guess, go here. So perfect, and I so I'm gonna show you how. Um, so yeah, you guys can make um, the bus go up and down. It's called a kneeling bus. So if you press Shift G, it goes up, but it's already at its max height. So to make it, is it going up? Yeah, I think it just went up. So I'm gonna press Alt G to to make it go to the default height. 
see that you kind of saw it go down a little and I can press shift G to go to max height again and if you want it to kneel you just press G and you see it kneels towards me so people passengers can get it on easier as you see if you look at this you can definitely tell the bus is like this and you cannot drive the bus at all when it is in this stage I don't know why but it's probably for safety reasons and if you want to open the door it's actually very easy just like the tailgate you just simply press O and the doors will open and close now I don't know what the jat toe is so if I press T does it do anything? I don't know and I don't care so we're just gonna Press G again to make it go back. And then we're just going to drive away. And yeah. So actually we're going to go spawn it here. I'm going to show you what it does. Um, no, I escape. Click on the bus or vehicles. Scroll down to the bus. Um, we're going to click on hero. We're gonna go spawn new because we're gonna blow this bus up. So you see it has the boosters. Oh Jat oh okay, so Jato is the boosters. I see. So so the other bus doesn't have it, but I can add it on okay, slow down, slow down. How do I stop this? And eh, no, we're just gonna reset it. So T is the booster, so it does not work on the other bus unless you go to the parts menu and stuff, which I will show in another episode. <laughs> well, alright, wait. Oh yeah, we can drive under here, so we're just gonna go. Oh yeah, and as you can see, this bus has a cape. Very cape-like. So you can drive this bus normally, or when it has booster but when it has the booster usually your engine is going to destroy and the controls are the same for everything like you can make it lean and go up and down which makes it undrivable all right so we're gonna aim oh we are totally off we're just gonna aim for that bus and blow it up oh well, I, I don't know if we could boost this on the ram bus because if oh crap dang it oh we're gonna have to do that again because i just broke the bus eh. Oh yeah, guys. Also, if you want to know how to freeze physics, you just simply just press J, and time is paused. And then press J again to unfreeze it. And there is reasons for that, which will be in future episodes. So yeah, I think I will be doing Beam Injury Drive up to two times a month, because I do like to play Minecraft. And this game will not take over my channel, because I know you guys like Minecraft. So we are actually going to try not to slam into the wall like we did last time. Or stop. All right, perfect. So this is perfect. So we're just gonna drive forwards, and we're gonna press T, and we are going to ram this bus, and we are gonna turn to slow motion. Would you press Alt? So yeah, this shows how realistic everything is. So this bus somehow took damage to the back. I don't know how. And it looks like a blue attire. So what's what would happen if we rip this off? Oh crap. That's the cape. I don't want the cape. So guys, I didn't really. S so I didn't. Yeah, there. I took it off, and it's gonna fly away. So guys, I didn't really get to say what slow motion was, but if you just press Alt, and then the left arrow or the right arrow, right arrow makes it go faster, left arrow slows down time. So we're just going to speed up time. So yeah. Oh dang, can I steer? I can't steer. All steering to this bus is broken, and that booster is going to stop now. And it just does not stop. So we're actually going to turn on our signs to say that we are uh, broken. So 
So let's just review the damage. So uh, this bus has uh, no working lights. I actually don't know how to use headlights. Horn still works. I don't know how headlights work. Oh, and there goes the front. Oh, it's a door. <laughs> it's just a door. So yeah, that's that bus. Um, honestly, it's only the outside that's damaged. This thing, if it was, if that wasn't a bender, this could still drive perfectly. As you can see, the drive shaft is fine, the engine's fine, the radiator is fine because the engine is actually in the back. So if I were to rip this off, come on, do we go off? For, actually, that's not a good side. This, yeah. Oh wow, this side's already broken for me. Thank you. Um, go. Yeah, uh, I don't know how to zoom in actually, but yeah, um, but so yeah, you can see like an engine there, so the radiator and stuff is back there, so yeah, and the gas tank is right there, actually, I think we can rip out the engine if we really wanted. No, we're not. We're going to go review this bus. So this bus did lose a tire, and I actually don't know where it went, so it can put power down and it can move but only it can only turn hey actually I can make it go straight if I turn right and actually honestly you could actually drive this bus it is not that damaged and I like I said before all the stuff that makes the bus work is fine so if this was straight actually it's better condition than the other bus yet this one was rammed so um if can the door still work no the doors are jammed um, can it still kneel to the right? How do I do that again? G. Well, it doesn't look like it does anything. So, yeah. So that's basically that. So I'm just going to actually, um, reset this. And we're going to delete it. So this delete vehicle. And then uh, we're going to reset this. And we're going to spawn in two new vehicles and I'm going to show you how detailed this game is and what a good accident looks like so I think we will be using a gravel roamer so I think what what should we use hmm we'll use this one four wheel drive so replace current so it drives pretty good has a trailer hitch okay and then we'll spawn in another vehicle Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to click the vehicles thing. And, hmm. I think we will use an Abishu Kovet. Hmm. So I think we'll just use. We'll use the student driver one, because this would actually make a lot of sense. I wish I could drive, but I can't. In this game, I can. So we are actually going to drive this car a good distance out. And there's many... Actually, in this case, this will be a good way to show you why you need to freeze physics. But we're actually not going to be doing it for this, so another video. I'm actually... So this way, we're, I'm going to show you how the AI works. Go, drive, drive. I do what I want. Oh, this is a front-wheel drive car. Disgusting. Guys, tell me in the comments below if, if you guys can drive. What, what's better, front wheel drive, all wheel drive, or rear wheel drive? I don't know because I don't drive. Honestly, I'd say four wheel drive because it's better for off-roading. So we're going to switch to this car. Now, and we're going to go back up. Now, for the AI, if you the car that you're using, like this, I'm using this car, not the other car. Um, then the other car would make it be the AI. Okay, I want to know what the headlights are, but whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to go escape, we're going to click on this button that says AI, and you can choose what happens, so you can actually spawn traffic, but I don't want to, so I can click chase me, so if I click that, then that guy will chase me, see, so we're going to go into him, and actually we're going to go into slow-mo, 8 times, we'll go 16 times, so this will show you, what an actual car accident what a yeah awesome tire deflated so we'll go a bit more fast motion alright actually 
we'll tell the AI to stop. Alright, let's go more. So yeah, that is actually a pretty good accident. I'd say that looks very realistic. I mean, besides the fact that it's going into the car, but hey, it's it's a video game. Video games can't be accurate. So yeah, I actually just want to look under the hood. Oh, can I actually? I just want to see what's under the hood. Show, you know, we're just going to look like this. So yeah, it's an engine. So yeah, let's going to see if this car can drive. So it can. It's steering is actually a bit messed up. It's pulling to the left a bit. So we'll back this car up. Yeah, you can see. I'm not even steering. All right, let's switch to the other car. This car actually does not have that much damage. And so if we go tab, tab, and switch to this car, it will show the damage. So it, the people inside, let's actually look at the interior. Do not look that hurt. Like, honestly, if I were in this, I feel like I wouldn't be that hurt. And see, I'll uh, show you the steering to it. Every time I do that, that happens. You can't see gas pedals. But we're going to see if this car works. And I cannot see where I'm going. So we're actually going to switch out of this camera view. And actually, okay, it's got a big pull to the left. Same with the other car. But then again, they both hit on the left. So if this happens and your car is not really drivable... Then you can do what I did earlier and got the tow truck or the flatbed. Or you can have a lot more fun and spawn in an a Actually, I don't even know if there is an ambulance. Oh, yep, yeah, there's an ambulance. So you but no one was injured in this. So you can spawn a police, but we're not going to use this for a police. I think a good police car... Wait, is there a police version of this? Because this would be a perfect... So the special detective, not an actual police officer. Hmm. Um. No, there's probably a police version of this. So we're actually going to use the police version of this. Because I know there is. There's two, I'm pretty sure, right? There's actually a lot of pickup trucks. Yeah, so there's a border patrol... It, a border patrol and a border patrol. So, you know, border patrol is good enough. Spawn new. I don't, I don't feel like looking through more. So, yeah, I, we're going to drive. And then I'll show you how the sounds. You press M and M. And M to turn them off. So, you can have them just flashing or not. So, this is the interior. Oh, that's not the interior. See? So, the interior is actually pretty cool. Actually, you can see my gas pedals, so... So they actually work. Steering wheel works. And so yeah, we're going to go destroy these cars again. And then I'll end the video. So yeah, this would be a good derby car because it has a ram bar on the front. Very useful. So that car looks actually destroyed. And this guy, oh dang it, we missed. Oh yeah, we can also open the back if we wanted. Sorry, bud. Eh. Eh. Oh yeah. I don't want this thing on. So yeah, if you could, f if you accidentally do flip your car, then you can do the thing to flip it back. Also, you destroy your car, which I really want to do. Go! What did I do? No, actually, this isn't that damaged. Well, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys want lots more BMG Drive, please make sure to hit a like button. Hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Um, yeah, this this video is really fun making, especially since we got to crash some cars and I got to show you how good it was. So, yeah. Goodbye.